Hey, what's going on, True Fam? Welcome back to the channel. It's White Shadow, and today, guys, we're going to go over one huge feature of OBS and tell you why I think OBS is better than SLOBS for this one very reason. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so like I said, today we're going to be checking out a huge feature of OBS and going over why I think OBS is still the best streaming software for everybody on Twitch, Mixer, whatever streaming platform you use, be, and simply because this one feature is very useful for streamers that stream on mul multiple different channels or platforms. So let's go ahead and jump into OBS and let me show you guys why this reason alone is huge for streamers everywhere. We're actually recording this video with SLOBS because I wanted to show off OBS. OBS is open broadcasting software. It's one of the most commonly used broadcasting softwares out there on the market today. It's free, it's an easy, simple download. I download it, get all of your scenes and stuff. That's not what this video is about though. There is one feature to OBS. There is one feature to OBS that makes it better than the rest of the streaming software out there on the market today. And that is the profile selection and the scene selection. Collection. The reason why these are so great is because I can have multiple profiles. So my wife has a profile on here for streaming the mixer. I've got another one that I have untitled in case I wanted to record videos. I'm actually going to rename that one. I've got my own profile and I've got a, another profile set up for myself as well. I believe the untitled one is for the true gaming stream that we have. Now you can also have different stream keys attached to all of these. And that's the reason why it's so good. If you stream to multiple platforms, if you stream to multiple channels, say you have a podcast on a different channel, say you stream to your own channel, say you do charity streams on a different channel, you have multiple stream keys to work with. With SLOBS, there's no way for me to save those on multiple profiles. On OBS, I can, and I can have different stream keys for different things. Now you can also have different scene selections. So if I go to Untitled here, that's gonna take me to the True Gaming Charity Streaming. If I go to Mine, it's going to take me to my overlay setups, all that fun stuff. As you can see here, there are different customizations available in OBS that aren't available elsewhere. And that's why I still, to this day, even though I have used SLOBS, I use it on stream all the time, I love the software. It doesn't have that key factor in versatility. OBS is still the most versatile streaming software on the market today. With all of the customizations and everything they've done to SLOBS to make it a more quality of life improvement, OBS still has the most versatility. And I still think if you're getting into streaming, you need to learn OBS first and then go find a different streaming software that you maybe like a little bit better later. But as it stands today, OBS still works for people that do a lot of things on a lot of different channels or different platforms even. So if you stream to Mixer and Twitch sometimes, or you stream to Facebook Live and then maybe Twitch sometimes, you can do that here. You can save different profiles of all of your different stuff and it's all right there readily available. And that's what makes OBS so great and so user friendly because I'm able to make different scenes switch between them right here like say if I wanted to go to my wife's it's it's all right there and ready to roll you have so many different stuff that you can do so many different scene selections and all I got to do is click a button OBS is still the best streaming software in my opinion and it doesn't use as much CPU power as the rest of them like SLOBS still utilizes less of your processing power than OBS but OBS, with all of the features and all of the versatility that it still has today, and they're still building on top of all of this stuff, keep that in mind. It's still the best, and I think even for starting streamers out there, when you get into streaming, you need to learn this software first because it translates to the other guys. In my eyes, still today, OBS is the best, and for everybody that is starting on Twitch, you should definitely check it out and definitely learn the program because it's more stable, and everything you learn here translates to the other newer stuff coming to the market if you guys like this video be sure to hit that like button and be sure to hit subscribe before you guys leave today i would super appreciate it if you guys want to follow myself or true gaming on any of our social media all of those links are below in the description check us out on twitch twitter whatever come hang out with me on twitch sometime let's talk tech and maybe if you need a little bit of tech help i'll help you right there live but guys i'll see you in the next video until next time my shadow out